Okay, so there it is, the Rock and Roller Multicart R12. Uh, I just got it all put together, and I can't really give it a full review right now because I just put it together, but it looks to be uh, awesome, actually. It looks to be really awesome. But in this video, what I want to talk about is this was bought as a scratch and dent or a previously opened package from Amazon. Now, I still have the platform that goes on the bottom, uh, that's going to arrive tomorrow and that's a scratch and dent as well now i've bought scratch and dent stuff in the past not from amazon but from other places i have bought laptops from dell and just many types of places i bought scratch and dent or previously previously opened stuff and a lot of times it's a pretty damn good deal and this i can't find anything wrong with it there could possibly be a little bit it's kind of hard to see But there may be a little bit of bending uh, on that that wheel that's on that side right there. Not the wheel, but the, the actual frame. But I, I'm just guessing at it. That's the only thing. That's, that's the part of the package that was actually damaged was where that, that tube will come down here close to it. Where this tube touched the side of the box it was damaged and it was a pretty pretty hard hit but other than that the cart looks awesome and the process of buying it was really good good price too I think I got it like okay so thirty dollars off essentially dealing with. I gotta go back and look actually Bought this like is a scratch and dent, off, and I got a pretty good deal on the platform. You can the see that it is well. prepackaged, or has previously been opened, I should say, and then repackaged. Um, doesn't look too bad. So upon opening, I, I haven't even taken anything out of the box yet, but it looks to be pretty good now just to know it all arrived in that huge box right there so this box was packed inside that box and I'm gonna start unpacking it now. okay so here's all that was inside of the box was the main frame I assume they're the rear wheels and then these would be the front wheels and then there is a package of hardware and there was this tag that was already removed so I'm just going to put my tag over here inspection of the frame I see we got this sticky sided thing is not where it's supposed to be uh, it still has a band around it holding it together and everything appears to be for the most part okay I mean as far as I can tell uh, the one thing that I kind of am wondering about is this looks a little canted and I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or not there could possibly it's hard to hold this in video at the same time it could possibly be a bend right in here that's pitching the top of that inward but if that's the only thing that's wrong with it I think I can live with that okay I'm going to so, try to put in looking at the wheels here before I put them on I don't think I can actually get this maybe I can get it right right there but there are if you look inside that hole there are actually roller bearings see if we can get that 
there's roller bearings inside of there, which actually I that impresses me. I didn't know that it would have that. Now these appear to be the rear wheels, and they look like they're pretty wide. You know, I mean, for going across grass, they look pretty good. Again, keeping in mind, I bought this as bought bought this from Amazon as scratch and dent or repackaged. Uh, you know, it came with a warranty, but obviously the package had been damaged or something. But so far, I don't see anything so far horribly wrong. Continue. Okay, so examination of the front wheels up close. Uh, looks pretty good. They feel pretty heavy. They're not as wide as the back wheels, but they seem to be pretty durable holding them here in my hand. There is a lock, and there is also a Zerk, a grease fitting, right there. And that's awesome, so that's telling me that there's definitely some roller bearings in there as well, probably ball bearings. And it appears to have a pretty, pretty stiff O-ring right there. If I can uh, zoom in on that, or focus on that that appears to be a pretty pretty stiff o-ring I think it'll get some uh, some life out of that okay so it appears to be together and the, here's the instructions right here very very simple it's just those two things and actually this is for one style and this is for another style so this is the style I had and we get leftover parts two different style they look like end caps uh, two different sizes I should say and I don't see anywhere in the instructions that tells me to put them but let's go over here and look all I had to do was Put the, there's a washer behind this, a washer behind the wheel. Put the washer on, slide the wheel on, put the cotter pin in. Up here in the front, very similar. The wheel had a post. It went up into inside of this tube. This pin went through this cotter pin. And actually the opposite side I did first, and I put the pin through this way, and it was a little harder to get the cotter pin in uh, I don't know it was just easier to do it and put it through this way so I'm gonna now set it up and kind of roll it around and see what happens you want to ride on it Jake eh, I don't think so you want to ride maybe <laughs> 